So today let's take a look at the chutes, particularly the overflow chute, which is used when you, for example, making um, an automatic mining uh, facility with centrifuges and um, sorters and all of that. How does it work? So here we have a valve that is closed. And on the other hand here, we have also a valve that is closed. So whatever comes along here will stop. Same here. Here's our inlet and here is the so-called overflow chute. Um, I have just built all of this, and there's, uh, so it's all in its default state. Um, so you can see per default this, this thing which get, went from this direction to that direction is also still in that state, the arrow is straight. So let's toss in some iron and see what happens. So that's now in the uh, valve chute, yep, okay, again. And then another one. And this should stay visible here in the window chute. By the way, window chutes uh, c shouldn't be used for um, when you want to transport gas, uh, like molten, uh, like uh, frozen, uh, uh, frozen water, or oxides, or volatiles and such. Because uh, as soon as there's an atmosphere around it, um, a thermal energy exchange will take place. Or maybe it was only when there's sunlight falling onto it, I'm not sure, but anyway it will melt. Uh, and you don't want that, so uh, you shouldn't use window shoots. But in this case, yeah, in this case it makes sense. So, now we, then we have two of these in there, let's see the, the third one. Aha, uh -huh, okay, and now the next one should go in here. And then what? Then it will try to put that here, but it can't. Aha. And so it switched over, and now that is here. Okay, let's put another one in, is what she said. And now the next one goes in here. I wonder what will happen. Uh, probably nothing. Nothing. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh huh. Yeah. All very straightforward. All very logical. And that's it. I have to go drink something. See ya.